Wix Ascent Email Marketing versus MailChimp, which is the better email marketing software. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick comparison between Wix Ascent email marketing feature and MailChimp's email marketing features and which one you should choose for your business. So let's get into it. First off, with MailChimp, MailChimp is an individual separate email marketing company. So you're going to do all of your email marketing on MailChimp. You're going to be able to integrate it to any website that you have created. You won't have any kind of limitation that only your website should be on maybe Wix or its affiliated websites. You can have a website on GoDaddy or any other e-commerce platform as well like Shopify or Equid. And you can use MailChimp for your email marketing needs. But if you're opting for Wix ASIN email marketing, obviously you're going to have your website on Wix. And that is the only way that you can use Wix's ASIN email marketing features. But let's just say for the sake of this video to make the comparison a bit more even, we're going to say that our website is already present on Wix. Let's just say you're using Wix as your website developer or your e-commerce marketplace. So in that situation, if you're already using Wix for your website needs, should you opt for MailChimp or should you opt for Wix's own email marketing? Now, in all honesty, I would not recommend using either one of these platforms because MailChimp, the free version, is very lackluster and Wix, however, is good, but I think that there are so many other free email marketing softwares that do the job so much better than the both of these that I would suggest to opt for one of those, like um, Send in Blue. It's one of my top favorites, and I find it to be the best email marketing software in 2021. But to keep with maybe your personal preferences or the platforms that you are familiar with, um, first of all, that you are familiar with, you might want to opt for either MailChimp or Wix. So let's take a rundown of their features. Now, the free version of MailChimp will get you marketing CRMs. You're going to get a creative assistant. You're going to get a website builder and MailChimp domain. And you also get forms and landing pages. Now, you're going to be able to have 2,000 contacts or subscribers to your emailing list on MailChimp. However, on Wix, this is very undefined and uncertain. You don't really know how many emails or what kind of work you can really do with their um, email marketing things and and because they don't provide direct information about their ascent email marketing now you can see over here that on the free version of wix you just get limited access to email marketing that's all they say you don't know how many emails you can send or what the limit is on the basic version they just said you get more email marketing on the professional version, you just say even more even email marketing. And on the unlimited version of Wix, they just say you get unlimited email marketing. So for any of these versions, you don't really know what the upper limit really is. They don't really say. And even in the details of your email marketing, you can only see just some basic details. Here we have the remove ASIN branding. So in the free version, you're obviously going to have Wix branded emails. Then the number of campaigns you can run in a month are three on the free version, five on the basic and 20 on the professional and unlimited on the unlimited plan. Now, the maximum amount of emails that you can send are 5,000 per month on the free version of Wix. Then on the basic version, you can send 9,500 a month. Then on the professional version, you can send 50,000 and then obviously you can send a million emails. Now, you cannot do any kind of campaign scheduling on the free version of Wix and you also don't get a um, URL with your custom domain on the free version or basic version of Wix. Now, there is not a subscriber limit on Wix, which I find it to be a better feature than MailChimp, where MailChimp is going to limit you to 2,000 contacts. Even if they do give you unlimited email, if you only have 2,000 people to send those emails to, all these emails are going to be wasted. However, on Wix, you have 5,000 emails, but you can send all of these 5,000 to 5,000 different people and you can increase the reach of your emails. Now, moving on to the platforms of both of these email marketing softwares. Now, you can see in Wix, obviously, you're going to have your email marketing linked to your website, while on MailChimp, you're going to link your email marketing to your website so that's going to be a basic difference because wix is primarily a website developer and 
MailChimp is primarily an email marketing software that also provides web hosting and web development services. Now, it's very easy to create an email marketing campaign on any of these. Just click on campaigns over here. Click on create campaign here on MailChimp. Click on email so you can select if you want a regular, you want a landing page or you want a embedded form, what kind of email you're trying to design. Let's say we want to build a regular email and then within your email, you can either get started with a template or start from scratch as well. So I'm gonna show you guys the different templates that MailChimp provides. And obviously because MailChimp is primarily for email marketing, their templates are superior to Wix, I must say. Now, if we click on create template, now you can see the different themes on MailChimp and these are so professional looking and so welcoming. They're generally just very well done and you won't have to really change much within these very beautiful and gorgeous themes that MailChimp does provide you and they are a lot of themes so you're, you're not gonna run out very quickly either you don't have to worry about that or you can either code your own as well so if you're familiar with HTML you can also code your own emails and this functionality is also available on Wix now Either you can choose a template or you can choose one of these layouts, these basic little layouts, which, you know, uh, make your email look very professional and very well done. And you can just have your information relayed within this simple form. That's totally up to you and your preference and what kind of uh, aesthetic you're trying to get across with your brand. If we take a look back at Wix now, for Wix, let's just say we want email marketing and we're going to create our first email. Now for Wix, you're going to link your emails to your website, obviously. And within your website, you're going to create a little box, a drop down box, which will refer people to your email marketing campaign. And within that email marketing campaign, you're going to change the settings of that campaign from here. So I do find Wix to be more packed with features because you have these automated features such as, you know, if a person does not purchase their cart, they can receive this email. If a person cancels a appointment, they can get a reminder email. If a person discards their purchase or cancels their purchase they can get a coupon and you can automate all these functions here on wix and it's going to make your um, work a lot more easier now to add your email marketing campaign what you're going to do is you're going to go into your dashboard and you can see all of my different sites i've already made an email marketing campaign on this one so i'm going to go on to my site and i'm going to show you guys how to do a email marketing campaign on wix on this website now it's totally up to you if you're okay with using wix as your website developer and email marketer some people prefer mailchimp but honestly if you're comparing between mailchimp and um wix i would suggest opting for wix because mailchimp has recently become rather unreliable they have pretty bad reviews in the past few years and they have been reducing their quality and they're shutting down there they feel like it's like a software that is really not being maintained whatsoever even though it is one of the most popular softwares it doesn't feel that way that it is something that is widely used or something that is very effective in terms of usage now i'm just waiting for my website to load so i can show you guys how to integrate your wix email marketing now you can see over here this is your website editor what you're going to do is you're just going to click on search and you're just going to search lightbox and you can see different light boxes over here if you click on show more light boxes it's going to open the light box over here in your um left menu bar as well so if you want to open it from your left menu bar just click on add go into interactive go into light boxes and add whatever kind of light boxes you want so let's say we want to add a subscription light box and you can see there are quite a few themes available and i'm just gonna add this one so here we have it our light box has been added now let's work on our light box let's click over here and add a section for our light box like this 
I'm going to add the light box section going into interactive then I'm gonna add the box over here like so and now what you're going to do is first you can change the aesthetic of your light box and we're not focusing on that we're more focused on the subscriptions and email marketing so you can do all of that as well but what you're going to do is you're going to click on the section that is your get subscribers form and from here you can do a little click and you can double click and see get subscribers and this is going to open up a little box and this box is going to give you the basic tools so for this you can see what you want to name your box what you want to submit within your box and after that you have automation so you can send a thank you email once someone submits their little subscription you can also create a new task and add more email marketing newsletters as well and most of your work is going to be done in automation so you can click on create and add a reply to this subscription so every time someone subscribes to this little box you can just add a thank you message and then you can add your you know remaining emails to whoever has opted for this subscription box over here you're gonna open up your automations and you can see when a visitor submits a form you can send them a email and then you can thank you so much for getting in touch and you can customize this as you want and then you can schedule it automatically after the trigger or you can schedule it at a custom time now you can also set a limit so once per contact every 24 hours or don't limit so everyone will get the uh, subscription thank you form and you're just going to click on activate and your automation has been created and just like that if i want to add new automations i'm just going to click on new automation and let's just say wix stores when a customer abandons a cart we can choose a follow-up action so we can send a coupon via email whenever someone abandons their cart and we can send them reusable coupons or single coupons and then you can create your coupon and send that as well and you can edit the template that is provided so i'm going to show you guys what the template looks like as well and you can preview and test these templates as well to see what your customers are actually going to view so you can see this is going to be the little coupon that your customer is going to get if they abandon the card so we noticed you left something in your card would you like to complete your purchase here's a coupon for you to use and so on so in general i find wix to be a better email marketing software if you're using wix i would not recommend using mailchimp in any situation i would not recommend using mailchimp only if you're using some other website developer and you need a free email marketing software that's the only situation i would suggest that you should opt for mailchimp in other situations i would suggest that you should use send in blue or if you're already using wix opt for wix so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video